Hey-o. <laughs> Editor, cut that. <laughs> One of these days she'll get my humor. What's going on everybody? Welcome to our show, I'm Spencer. And I'm Christy, and we are really excited about the meal that we're gonna cook for you today. While we absolutely miss the Western Mountains, we also love being close to the Atlantic Ocean and spending time at the beach. There are plentiful seafood and fish yeah. markets, and we love cooking with fresh fish. Yep, and growing up on the East Coast, we have been eating seafood for as long as we can remember, so it's always good to have fresh seafood whenever we can get it. And today we're trying something new. We are gonna do a roasted mango salsa with tuna steaks. So let's go fire up the Blackstone. Welcome back to Destination Delicious. If you have ever had tuna steak before, you know that it's typically served on the medium to rare side. And so it's not going to take very long to cook it. So we're gonna set the fish aside for a second and get to work on our mango salsa. Yeah. It requires a lot of cutting. Yeah, yeah, we've got a lot of ingredients going on here. But the first thing I'm gonna do is actually cut up our mango. First, I'm gonna try to peel this with a... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Seriously? You use a tiny knife to cut a giant onion and you're gonna try and peel a mango with a chopping knife? Okay, what? baby brain, baby brain. This is the first time either one of us has ever cut a mango, so we're kind of learning on the fly here. Like Spencer said, this is our first time doing a roasted mango salsa, so I am just cutting the mango chunks off the side of the mango, then I'll cut them into strips and then small to medium cubes. We're also going to be adding red bell pepper to our salsa and I'm going to cut it up into strips and then dice it into small cubes. I'm saving the onion for Spencer because he has the best onion technique um, of the like, I don't know, slit slides, chop. Slip and slide onions. It wouldn't be a destination delicious recipe if we didn't add a little heat to it. So we're gonna chop up some jalapenos for that extra spicy zest. Seeds, veins, and all will stay in. And we've got a bit of cilantro we're gonna dice up. Getting some baby kicks going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she likes cilantro. Maybe she does. It smells good at least. I had the griddle preheated to low heat. We want to roast the salsa, we don't necessarily want to cook it. So as soon as we get it down, I'm going to turn the heat off and just let it slow roast until the tuna is ready. While our salsa is roasting, I'm going to get our tuna all seasoned up and ready to get on the griddle. So first thing is I'm going to do a little bit of olive oil on it. Kind of rub that into the surface. And then we're gonna go light seasoning, so just some salt. Just a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And some of Blackstone's all-purpose seasoning. Just a little bit. A little bit of color and added flavor. Now that our salsa is almost done, I'm going to give it one more toss and move it to one side of the griddle. And on the other side, I'm going to turn the heat up to medium high. And that's going to be the side we're going to cook our tuna on. All right, it's time to get our tuna down. So I'm going to get a little bit of oil down on the griddle. And while that first side is searing, I'm gonna get some seasoning on the second side. We are moving fast now, so it's been a couple minutes and we're gonna flip our tuna fillets over. Give our salsa one more toss. Mm. 
The tuna steaks look fantastic. We're gonna let them sit for a few moments. And while we do that, we're just gonna wrap up our mango salsa. So we're gonna add cilantro, and we, on the fly, decided we're gonna add some tahini. Yeah, <laughs> almost were... forgot we had that. Yeah. It's amazing seasoning, so we're gonna put some of that in. All right, the time has come to cut our tuna steaks. I'm just gonna... Just gonna cut some long slices all the way through. And since Christy's the one with the decorative touch, I'm gonna let her plate the strips. <laughs> A mango. A mango. We're gonna find out. All right, and the final piece is just a little bit of lime juice over the salsa. And we'll get a little bit on the tuna as well. There we go. Well, this looks fantastic. Yeah. I am excited. It's like date night. It's yeah. like this meal is so pretty, very presentable, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste absolutely delicious yeah and it was pretty easy honestly it wasn't, it wasn't a lot right. of cutting a lot of chopping but that was it and chopping, cooks but quick yeah hey, everything cooks yeah. quick once it's done so all right let's dive in give it a try fish cuts nice and easy mm -hmm. cooked perfectly yeah nice work that mm. is really wow that's good tuna is one of my favorite fishes like mm -hmm. it's just such a good flavorful it's been a while since I've had it. Oh, it ha well, because we've been out west, we kind of <laughs> have a rule that we try and... <laughs> we Don't try eat seafood in landlocked states? Yeah. <laughs> the mango salsa is delicious. You tried it? I, yeah, I oh, tried it with my first bite. Mm. It, it's so good. Wow. This is our first time making roasted mango salsa, mm -hmm. and we nailed that. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out blackstoneproducts.com because if you don't have a griddle, you need a griddle. Yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and ring that bell to make sure you don't miss any videos from any of the great cooks on the channel. We're talking about Nate, CJ, Todd, Betty, Bruce, and us. Thank you guys for watching once again. This is Destination Delicious, and we will see you down the road.